It's noon. Downtown bars are opening for service with no excessive lineups or overcrowding seen in any direction. City Deputy Mayor Josh Morgan hopes St. Patrick's Day will be a similar sight. The issue will arise if people don't follow the public health protocols and if they make uh, unsafe decisions. And I'm confident that, uh, that people are going to, to choose to do the right thing and we're going to avoid any sort of unnecessary outbreaks related to St. Patrick's Day. This year, bars and restaurants can hold up to 50 people inside. And as warmer weather blankets the city, more and more people are starting to hit the downtown. Here's a look at Richmond Row on Friday evening. You can see a mashup of people lining up outside bars. Many not bothering with masks and forgoing the recommended two meters of distance. The general manager of McCabe's Irish Pub says he'll be placing security guards at the entrance throughout St. Patrick's Day to try and monitor lineups and enforce physical distancing measures. McCabe's before the pandemic would be a lineup down the street by the time we had the doors open. So going from 350 to 50, uh, it's going to be a very different experience in here. But we're trying to help as many people come through as possible. So we're doing time limits just so that, you know, people aren't waiting outside needlessly because even outside people need to be wearing their masks with two meter separation when they're in line. I think it will be busier than normal, but I think for the most part the student community is say, staying pretty safe. Uh, I don't know yet. We're going to play it by ear. London Police Service say they are working with the health unit and city bylaw for any St. Patrick's Day concerns. Keep it outdoors. Keep it small. Uh, avoid any indoor gatherings and certainly large indoor gatherings. If those occur, they will certainly spread COVID. An increased presence of police is expected for Wednesday in and around the downtown area. COVID-19 is still a major concern and we're really asking anyone who is planning on getting together with friends outside of their immediate household to please reconsider. Jordan Reed, CTV News.